What is going on guys, it's Wolf here, welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now last time we left off, we did a little bit of missions, we went scouting a little bit, and we even made this little uh, oven over here, which is pretty nifty. I even made myself another drying rack, or a uh, <laughs> tool rack up here, so it's really, really super cool. Anyways, I got a comment that was pretty helpful, saying that this little bit on the left side is for like holding the items, you know? So you can see we have pots and pans and saucepans and stuff like that there. I even casually have a cutting board on the oven, you know, just a little bit of a fire hazard going on there, but who cares, really? <laughs> Anyways, we have a juicer up here and bakeware, more than pestle. And what's that thing? I, I don't know what that thing is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Anyways, I went mining last episode, found a really, really cool mine underneath my house. So that's going to be really, really helpful to getting, uh, you know, more and more minerals here in the future. Now, I already got a pretty good amount of minerals from down there already. But there are still a lot of them down there that I can, you know, go harvest because I ran out of torches down there. Anyways. Let's see what food we can make with the eggs we just picked up so we can get ourselves some fried eggs. I already have a pretty good amount of those. Boiled eggs, uh, half of a thing. One and a half for scrambled egg. Okay, let's get some scrambled eggs as well. Let's get seven of those. Let's get uh, seven of those. And I guess the other ones we can have, I don't know, another scrambled egg or two and another fried egg or two. There we go. And all right, so we have enough. Uh, we're out of ingredients. All right. Wait, there's an egg, right? Okay, never mind. That was a glitched egg. <laughs> Alright, so let's go check up on my chest, see what we have in there. So, I have an absolute ton of Prometheum. So, what I want to do is go to the... What's his name? Black Market guy? I don't even know if it's a guy or not. I guess just sell it to Black Marty in general. I think you need 10... Yeah, 10 Prometheum blocks. So, that's going to get us three machine bags, four animal bags, two seed bags, and two guaranteed uh, cow spawners. Or spawn eggs, I guess. <laughs> now, we do have like 17 uh, blocks of stuff, so we can just grab those and we'll still have an absolute ton of Prometheum left over. Anyways, man, you'll submit 10 Prometheum blocks and let's just claim our reward of the three machine bags, two animal bags, yep, two animal bags, and two seed bags. So let's grab those and let's see the juicy loot that we got out of there. <gasps> oh, yeah, and we got cows. So we have two cows. We can multiply them, of course, because we have enough. Uh, we have an absolute ton of wheat. Let's spawn those guys down, and let's go grab ourselves a little bit of wheat. And there we go. All right, nice to meet ya, or nice to wheat ya. <laughs> hey, how's it going there, little sheepy? Oh, look at that repopulation uh, achievement. Nice. There, oh, look at the tiny little calf. That thing's tiny. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see what we got in our hand. Oh wait, uh, machine bags. Let's see what we got there. Ooh. Two machine frames, two pneumatic servos, two redstone conduit or conductance coils. Uh, yeah, conductance coils, two reception coils, two machine frames, and four plastic sheets. That's actually pretty good. It says it's a decent machine reward, but hey, that's not that bad. <laughs> All right, well let's grab another machine back. Okay, magma. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So you can turn cobblestone into lava, and. Uh, of course, netherrack into lava, stuff like that. So that's going to be really cool. And it's resonant as well. Nice. Let's see what else we have for our last one. Okay, let's do a flux capacitor. We have two of those. How much does that hold? Okay, 80,000 RF. Ah, uh, that's not bad. Eh, I guess I shouldn't complain. It's free anyways, right? Two seed bags. So we have another piece. And another... Oh, wait, that's a cabbage. Nice. Okay, so we can go plant those bad boys down in our brand new farm all the way over here. Hey, how's it going, pig? And... Oh, wow. Like, all of our apples are ready to be harvested. I'll be grabbing you. I'll be grabbing you. Uh, oh, I thought that one. Okay, I guess the shine has to be a little bit shinier or a little bit bigger. And the apple... Yeah, the apple itself is a little bit bigger as well. Okay. They're just really hard to tell which ones... Which apple's ripe, you know? Hmm. Anyways, these... uh, What are these? Pecans? No, almonds. They're not done yet. All right, well, let's go plant. Oh, yeah, I have to go plant down our cabbages. <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't know. Uh, tomato? Okay. I guess I'll just grab all the tomatoes and I get a nice little pretty good amount of pasta here pretty soon. And, of course, we have an absolute ton of potatoes down here as well. So let's just harvest these bad boys. And I need to make, like, a fridge or something. I have an absolute ton of iron back at the house. Let's get rid of those feathers, I guess. So, I definitely want to use that iron to make, like, a fridge so we can easily store all the all of our food in there and we can just go to the cooking for blockheads thing and easily craft ourselves, you know, pasta, all that stuff without having to all, have all the inventory or uh, have all the items in our inventory, you know? Just make it a little bit easier. Anyways, let's just uh, grab all lipididos and what can we throw out? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't really need to eat anything. Is there anything that's garbage here? 
Oh, grilled eggplants. Uh, I guess they're kind of garbage. Yeah, they lost they lost their nutritional value long ago, apparently. Whew. Yeah, we did eat them recently, so that kind of makes sense. Anyways, uh, man, I need to make like a hoe or something. But I kind of want to just uh, break you <laughs> and throw down the cabbages and throw down the peas. Okay, yeah. Because we do have a lot of potatoes, so don't really need every single potato plant, right? All right, let's just go back inside. Hey, how's it going, Cal? Nice, nice face getting out of the door right there, Cal. <laughs> All right, let's go check up on our... Oh, yeah, and I put this chest over here just to store some of the food items, so... I'll keep those fried eggs just because... Oh, is there anything I can do with potatoes? I make baked potatoes, and that seems to be about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't really want to make potato, uh, baked potatoes, so let's put all those up. Put all those up. Uh, a lot of tomatoes that we make, like, sauce and ketchup and stuff out of, but, eh, I don't really want it. And let's just go put up all of our extra machines over here, since I'm not really going to be using them for a little while. And while we're already in this chest, uh, which is apparently full, <laughs> uh, God, I really just one machine that I need to put in there. Uh, anyways, I got all these other shards down there as well, so we have air shards, fire shards, I don't know if we got fire shards, because I found them down there, I don't know if we had them before, uh, before today's episode, so we have some fire shards down there, and water shards, earth shards, and entropy shards, isn't, I thought there was another shard I might have picked up, oh there it is, yeah, 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 order shard, so we have those, I think we have at least one of every shard that we need, oh yeah, and I also found, uh, copper down there as well, so we have six copper, and let's just take a look at that achievement, what was it, the instructor? Uh, yeah, 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 getting past mandates. We have to make a copper pickaxe, which I assume is just a regular pickaxe you can make uh, out of Tinker's Construct. Or, uh, is that the only pickaxe you can make out of copper? Uh, out of Tinker's Construct. Oh, yeah, we can make a metallurgy one, which is made out of Natura sticks, which is... Yeah, it's going to be a lot cheaper than the uh, Tinker's Construct one. Okay, let's just go throw all the copper into the smeltery down here. I don't think we have anything down here. Yeah, just a little bit of molten. Oh, whoa, don't put those up there. Oof. <laughs> what are these things anyways? Uh, machine. Oh, kind of machine. Oh, those are metallurgy for machine. For okay, I've never seen those before. Huh, very interesting. And it was just to throw all those up inside there, and I think that's going to be it. Oh yeah, let's see what the fridge is like. Like, what is the recipe for the fridge? Oh, it's just an iron door and a chest. Okay, that's a lot cheaper than I thought it was. Man! So let's grab ourselves a... Is there... Huh. I thought there was like a... Hmm. Well, what do you know? I thought there was oak wood down here, but I guess not. <laughs> let's grab ourselves oak saplings and use some of these free bone meal of the day that we haven't been using. <laughs> and we're going to be getting ourselves an oak tree that we can... There we go. Cut down. Oh, God, why'd it have to be an MLG tree? Really? Did it really have to be an MLG tree? Now I have to go all the way up there and get rid of all the wood. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get rid of this wood. And I can cut down the rest of it later. Don't really need it right now. I just need enough to make another chest real quick. And make an iron door. And we will be good to go. So, uh, there we go. And, uh, I got a comment saying, like, I shouldn't make a sink, but, eh. I'm like, how, how do you make a sink, actually? Sink. How does one make a sink? That's not that bad. A little bit of iron. It, I, th I guess it takes the bucket. I guess you don't get the bucket back, but uh, I don't really use pastas and stuff that much to really warrant a sink just yet, you know? So let's just do this. Get the iron door in the chest, and now we have our fridge. All right, so I assume we just take all these items, break the break the chest. Oh man, that's absolutely done. Put the fridge there, and yeah, I guess it just uh, pulls items from this. So I have potatoes in there. Is it going to make baby? Oh, yes, it is. No, wait, I have, hit uh, I have potatoes in my inventory. Uh, yeah, 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 it still detects them. Nice. Okay, so it's cooking the potatoes. I suppose we can just throw as many potatoes in there as possible. Yep, nine potatoes. Oh, and that's like the queue up there. Okay, so that's what that is for. All right, I was kind of wondering what that was for. And then we can just throw all of our ingredients inside there. Uh, apples, yep, we can throw those in there as well. Stock, scrambled eggs, we can keep those. And toasts. Ah. Yeah, I'll just put it in there just because it is a pretty low nutritional value. Don't want to waste my time with that. Anyways, let's go check up on our smeltery. Let's go see if it's all done. Hopefully it should be. So we can make that copper pickaxe, get that garbage out of the way, and we should be able to get one block and then three individual ingots. So we'll have a copper. Uh, yeah, we had like six things, so we should have 12. So there's one, two, and then we can make a pick out of that and then have an extra copper block left over. Just for whatever. <laughs> Hopefully we get to at least keep our copper pickaxe once we make it, you know? I don't think we have to actually send it in. Uh, just manual detects it, so. Hmm, it's just for manual, or, uh, for mission outlook anyways, so. 
I don't think it's really that big of a deal if we have to throw it away anyways, because we, uh, we do have these Bloodwood picks, which are absolutely fantastic. I think I should have sticks in here. Yep, there you go. Two oh, wait, I need uh, Naturo sticks. There you go. I don't know if it has to be Naturo sticks. Let's actually check. Does it have to be Naturo sticks? Oh, no, it doesn't. Hey, what do you know? Metallurgy 4. Let's actually look at the recipe. No, there's a regular Minecraft stick right there. What do you know? All right, let's go uh, send this in, claim the reward, and leave that. We got to keep the pick. Nice. So we finally got that out of the way. Harvesting gold. With make a bronze pickaxe. Alien metal tick. Our class. Say, I think I've seen that before, right? Our class. Or, uh, let's actually look that up. Our class. Actually, how do you how do you spell that? Oh, here we go. Uh, make the ingot. Is it like a? Is it an alloy? No, 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 it's, a, it's an actual ore. I don't think I got it. It's like an orange looking thing. Yeah, I don't see it. Anyways, I got Cinnabar, which is fantastic. Infused Coleum, which is interesting. And Ferris, of course, you know, so nickel. And we got some Platinum as well, so that's pretty good. And we have some Aluminum, of course, and Astral. I've never heard of that, but we have that. Have a little bit of gold as well. And, uh, oh man, I shouldn't have. Oh, I think you need an Iron Ingot or an Iron, uh, or to send him to the... What's his name? What's his name? The geologist. I think you have to send him an iron ore. Right? Oh, man, I forgot the... God! Well, at least we have redstone we can send him, and one gold ore we can send him as well. So let's just get those out of the way. And we have to send him a diamond as well. Ooh. Man, this is getting expensive for this guy. Jeez, man, he'll submit those. And it's only plus 12 mission outlooks, so... Eh. I don't know if I really want to do that. Sample nickel. Okay, claim my reward there. Sample silver. Uh, I got silver, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I, I, I thought I did. I don't know where it would be. Rearrange that. Yeah, I don't see it here. Platinum. Uh, I thought I did, but I guess not. Huh. Anyways, let's just throw all the extra items we don't need in there. Copper pickaxe. I guess we can put it up inside of here. Oh yeah, the machines go in that chest. Whoops, what am I doing? Grab these, throw them into the other chest where they go, like so. And put the copper block up there. Extra sword, extra shovel, thing, <laughs> and put these leadstone flux things up there as well. We don't really need those. And we get rid of this wood. And let's actually check what other missions we have. So for the scout, apparently we're only halfway done with that. I kind of want to go to the volcano. That's really interesting. So as I said before, volcano is probably like what over here. Yeah, that's, if that's not a volcano, I don't know what is. <laughs> Anyways, let's just try and go over there. Let's see. What do we need to do? 311 and 181. Ooh. That sounds pretty far away compared to our current waypoint. 311. Oh, wow, it is. And 181. Let's type that in and let's look at the minimap. Oh, yeah, it's all the way over there. Whew. So, is it the Taiga that we have to teleport to if we want to go? Oh, yeah, we have animal bags. What's that thing? I don't know what that is. What is it? I, I'm, I'm kind of scared to spot it down. I don't know what it is. Oh, should I spawn? Where should I put it? I don't know. Uh, let's put it over here. Oh, it's a spider. Oh, get out of here. Woof. All right. I, I don't know if that was like a like a friendly spider or not. Okay, that's got to be like a... Is that an Enderman? What is this thing? Oh, it is. Is he my friend? I don't know if he is. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's out. So where is he? Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm dead. Oh, man, I got killed my own pet Enderman. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's invincible. Whoa. Oh, there he is again. Get over here, Enderman. Okay, where is he at now? I'm hiding under the tree. Oh, Spawn was slain by Enderman. Or <laughs> by the Wolf of Galaxy. Okay, we got him. Got him. And was that a sheep? And what is that? Is that a bat? I think it's a bat. And I'm pretty sure this is a sheep. Let's, let's spawn down this little sheepy poo. Oh, no, it's a wolf. <gasps> we have bones. I'm going to be grabbing some bones. And, oh, five bones. Ooh. Hope this isn't a greedy wolf. Let's get ourselves a tamed wolf. Oh, greedy wolf. Look at you. Look at you. And this is a bat, right? Yeah, it's just a bat. <laughs> just a bat name spawned. And it was just, just go to bed real quick. And in the morning, we can go teleport to the Taiga. Or like warp there or whatever. And where is that? Yeah, I guess Taiga. That's a snowy area. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. What is that? Oh, is that getting untainted? I think it is. <gasps> ooh. Mallowberry bushes. What are these things? Mallowberry? Can I eat these? Oh, not bad! How did I not get- How did I just walk past these? Let's grab those bad boys. Did I get those blocks? Oh yeah, I did. Oof, I- <laughs> Glad I didn't need shears to grab these. And how many do you have? We have five- We have seven now. Ooh, that's a really good number. Alright, that's actually pretty good. Alright, well, 
300, about 400 blocks until we get to the scout mission. I don't have like any armor right now. My chest plate is literally at 1 HP right now, so that is not going to protect me for very long. Like one, one singular touch by a pig or something, and I am dead. <laughs> Alright, well, how are we doing on wood? Yeah, we have literally none. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of wood, because I think we're going to have to make a boat. So, let's get ourselves. We have one for a crafting table. And I don't think, yeah, we're going to have to get another piece of wood to make the actual boat. And I want to make an extra boat. I always make extra boats, just in case they break. And they all, almost always do, so. <laughs> just trying to be super safe here. So, there you go. Ourselves a crafting station so I can actually store items inside of it. And where can I place this down? I guess I place it down on the side there. And make ourselves two boats. So there you go. And I'll keep the extra spruce to myself because I'm greedy as heck. Oh, what was that noise? It sounded like an enderman or something. Alright, well, let's just travel across the ocean. All the way to this volcano island. Okay, is that sun? Okay, that sun's rising. Oof. Alright, well, I'm just going to go sailing away to the next island. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh wow, it's like right there. Anyways, I'll just skip anyways. I don't want it to be too, too boring. I'll see you guys here in a second. Alright, we are here at the island. And our boat did not break. Oh, look at that. How rare. Even though we don't really need that boat anymore. we can, <laughs> Once we unlock the, the teleport thing, we're, we're just going to be teleporting all over the place. What? Oh, it's a taint tendril. Man, these things are killing me. Oh, there's a giant one. Kill them tentacle. Kill the main tentacle. Kill it. No, I'm dead. <laughs> you kidding me? Oh, man, I have to go all the way back there. Go all the way back to the tiger. Okay, at least I have another boat. I don't have to worry about it again. Man. Uh, well, at least now I'm going to have two boats casually like right next to each other. And all my armor is broken. Oh, man, I do have a lot of iron, though, so. Hmm, maybe I should get an iron chest. But I, I did get some comments saying to make blood wood. Like a bloodwood paxel, but I don't think mechanism is in this mod pack. So even if I wanted to make a paxel, I don't even think it's going to allow me to make a bloodwood paxel, you know. And I also got comments to make a bloodwood like armor, but yeah, I already checked a while ago. There is no bloodwood armor, unfortunately. If there was, that'd be so OP. I'll tell you that much. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Oh, get away from the pigs! Oh, whoa! Oof. All right, I'm going to be sailing the seven seas, and I will see you guys once I get to the island. Okay, this is. This is embarrassing. This is, ooh, just casually parking next to myself right there. Oh, I have an ender pearl. Oh, I got that from the, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Anyways, we don't really need that. We just need to kind of avoid all these taint tendrils that are going to try and touch us. We just want to run away. We just want to go to the mountain. We're 40 blocks away. Okay, I see the tree. Oof, I can see the silverwood tree. I have no blocks, so I can't just casually climb up. Hashtag casually climb up. Oh, man, how are we going to get up there? I, I can't scale this mountain. I don't have a, I don't have <sighs> Dare I say, Skyrim horse to help me go up this this mountain. Uh, that'd be such a fine day. Oh, what was this? Soapstone? What is this stuff? Soapstone? That sounds nasty. All right, let's just try and parkour legend ourselves around here. There you go, break the dirt. And let's get ourselves to the very top of the mountain. All right, well, oh, wow, there's an absolute ton of emeralds up here. Jeez. Man, do I have to send any of these to that guy? Oh, whoa, an emerald just casually fell off the mountain right there. Let's go pick it up. <laughs> All right. God, man, there's so many emeralds. If only they were diamonds. Is this even the proper emerald biome? I don't even think it is, right? Uh, We are in tainted land. Whoa. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess because it's tainted, it has, a new, uh, it has its own thing. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're not in uh, like extreme hills. And even if we were, emeralds usually only come in one one or veins they don't come in gigantic veins like that man anyways let's just keep going up and i'll see you guys here in a bit once i get to the summit okay so i know i have an ender pearl in my inventory i could have just thrown it up in the air but i kind of want to keep that just in case we need it later <gasps> oh yeah while in the caves i'm pretty sure i found an end portal i found end stone i'm pretty sure there was a stronghold down there as well so if we can kill some blazes oh <gasps> do we have any Blaze rods? I'm I know we spawned down a blaze from the animal bag. Where is this thing at? Oh, I walked like right past it. But, uh, I know we killed a blaze from the animal bag. But did it drop a, a blaze rod? That is the real question. Clean reward plus 17 in the mission outlook. Man, that's insane. Where do we have to go now? Uh, we have to go to the tundra, which is 1154 and 384. Is there anything special up here? Is this just it? Is it just a big volcano? Oh, wow. I'm not even at the top of the volcano yet where is the where's the oh 
There it is. The deadly volcano. Look at all that lava. Look, oh, wow, there's like a bush over Is that like a copper bush? That's like copper orberry bush, right? What is that? I want to go grab that. Huh. Well, what is that all the way over there? Floating island? What? Oh, is that... That's floating? I thought that was actually in the ground. Whoa. Is that actually floating? Or is that like a, like a tower? I have a feeling that thing is... Oh, yes. It's floating. And it has glowstone. It has even more glowstone. Some sort of... What I assume is like... Uh, that, that looks like Cinnabar over there. Huh. That's really interesting. How are we going to get over there? Unless we, uh, other than, you know, of course, piling up a bunch of cobblestone and just pillaring ourselves up. That's the only way I can think of. Huh. Hopefully that's not the way we have to get up there, but... So far, I'm not... It's just a whole bunch of nothing over here. Just a big pile of nothing by this volcano. Not even, like, special ores or anything. Huh. There's, like, basalt down there, though, which... Let's just face the facts. I'm not even surprised there's basalt down there. <laughs> because basalt literally comes from lava. <laughs> and let's just go grab this copper ore berry bush or whatever this thing is. And let's just head on out of here once we're done. Oh, ah, there we go. And soul sand. Do we have soul sand? Yeah, we grabbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got soul sand. Oh, wait. Stingberry bush? What? What is that? What do you get from that? Stingberry. Yeah. A little bit evil. Hit like a truck. So... Huh, I'm really interested in what that stingberry bush is going to do here. Hopefully it doesn't kill me while it's in my inventory or anything. Hopefully it doesn't give me a berry that's like 50-50 chance of killing me or something. <laughs> That'd be fantastic if not. Anyways, oh, we're on the opposite side of this thing. Ooh, ouch. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is not die. Let's not die. Let's just go down the mountain. And... Yeah, um, hmm. How are we going to get out of here? I, I have like no blocks. Oh, wait, yeah, I have blocks. I have dirt. Yeah, we can just <laughs> we can just make ourselves a little bridge casually across all of this lava. This is probably the most casual I'm being in this entire series. I'm literally making a dirt bridge across lava from fresh, fresh lava from a volcano. All right, well let's just go back up to ah. Uh, should I even deal with that mountain again? I kind of want to just go over here, take one of my boats back, and then just take the Taiga teleport back to back to Biodome Alpha, you know? Ah, let's just yeah, let's just do that. Anyways, I'll see you guys once we get back to the Biodome.